When I think about transhumanism, the idea isn't to get away from being human. The idea is to ask, what is it that we value about being human? And what are the limitations on that? Most importantly, it's to ask us, what do we actually mean? When you say you're human, what, what does that actually mean? People now, because of AI, people are working on proof of humanity certificates and things like this. And it's untenable for many reasons. But one of the things that I would just kind of want to run through some, some possible things that you might care about. So you're going on a, on a 30 year journey somewhere, maybe you're going to Mars or whatever, and you get to pick some, some other being that goes with you. Rumba, kind of too, too, too boring dog, pretty good, um, but you want a human. So, so so right to really, you know, have a good relationship for 30 years. Okay. What, what, do, what do you want when you, when you say you want a human, is it the genome? Are you, are you interested in the genetics? I, I don't know about you. I don't care about the genetics. Do, do you want the, the normal complement of human organs? Like, like you, you don't want a cyborg. You don't want somebody with 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 different organs. It's, I, I don't I don't care about any of that either. What 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 do you actually want? What do we mean by by human? Well, what I think we mean is you want at least east. Uh, so so I'm sure there's a lower bound. There could possibly be an upper bound too. You want to have a a minimal degree of of a cognitive light going in terms of compassion. What, what it means to be a human is to have a minimal capacity to, uh, to have goals that go beyond oneself and to care about others. And this, this, this idea of the cognitive light cone is actually really important because if you tell me, you tell me that the definition, by the way, that, that I came up with for, for this thing is it's the scale of the largest goal you can work towards. So if you tell me that the largest goal you can work towards is the concentration of sugar in a little 10 micron spot, I'm going to see probably a bacterium. That's a kind of goal that's that's suitable for, for a microbe. If you tell me that uh, you can maintain a goal on the scale of hundreds of yards and maybe a couple of uh, you know hours or a couple of days forward and back, I'm going to say you're probably a dog. So in the sense that you, your goals are larger, but there's, you're never going to care what happens three towns over two weeks from now. It's just not possible for you. It's outside your load. If, if you tell me that you are working towards world peace and you care about, and, and you're, um, you're working to improve the financial markets for hundreds of years after you're gone, probably you're a human. And if you tell me that, and if you realistically, and I believe you, you tell me that you are able to care for in the linear range, not just, not just, you know, sort of talk about it, but actually care in the linear range for all the beings on earth, the way that, that others can care about their family members, then I'm going to say you, you've got to be something beyond standard human. You must be some kind of body sat for some kind of future mind because, because your, your, your cone of compassion is actually bigger than what a standard human can, can muster. Right. Um, and so. That is what I think you, you, you mean when you say human. What you mean is you have a, 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 um, uh, a, a minimal size on the, on the kind of uh, care and compassion that you can bring into the world. 